us to another episode in a series of episodes where we are focusing on the November 2022 biology paper 2. So in case you are coming across this YouTube channel for the first time, please head to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button because of so much content on our channel. We've covered mathematics, sciences and now biology from 2017, all the past papers, you find all the answers explained extensively. Question 3. Figure 3 shows part of the alimentary canal of a human being. Question M. Identify the parts labeled P and Q. So the best thing to do is for us to label all the parts. Once we label all the parts, then answering the follow-up questions becomes much more easier. So if you look at the figure carefully, you will notice that P is a food pipe. So a food pipe is also known as a esophagus. So esophagus is P. So again, what you need to ask yourself is, what is its primary function? So the primary function of esophagus is to transport food and liquids from the mouth to the stomach. Take note of that function. Then we look at Q. So what is Q? So Q, you see, this is a J-shaped organ which digests foods. So because it's a J-shaped organ, of the alimentary canal, this should be a stomach. So the stomach produces enzymes and acid. These are called digestive juices that break down food so that it can pass to our small intestine in the body. So that's the main function of stomach. Let us look at R. So ara is pancreas. How do we know it's pancreas? Because of the shape. It looks like some kind of a leaf. So this is pancreas. So the main function of pancreas can be categorized into two, which is exocrine and endocrine function. So you need to take note of those two functions. Then what is S? S is the liver. So once you know what S is, then the next question you need to ask yourself is, what is its primary function? So just to take note, the liver is the largest solid organ in the body, and it performs over 500 vital functions. Among the key functions are Detoxification of armed substances, production of bowel for digestion, regulation of blood level, production of certain proteins for blood plasm, among others, and also regulating of blood clots. So take note of those key functions that you need to know as you prepare for your exams. Then the other key parts that we need to know is the gallbladder, which is in this one. So this one is known as the gall bladder. Also take note of its function because when you know the function it becomes easier. So the main function of the gall bladder is to store bowel until it is needed for digestion. Remember bowel is very important in the digestion process. Then the other one is this part which is the common bow duct once you know this you are good to go so we have identified the parts we know what p is is esophagus we know what q is is in the stomach then we are good to go you can move to the next question which is been Explain the functions of the part labeled R in the digestion. So if you look at the diagram, part R is pancreas. So what's the function of pancreas? 
So pancreas has got two main functions. So the two functions are categorized into two groups, which is in the exocrine function. Under this function, the pancreas releases pancreatic juice, which contains digestive enzymes. What are these digestive enzymes? So we have three of them. Lipas. So lipas works with the bowel which is produced by the liver to break down fats in our diet. Then number two we have protis. So protis breaks down proteins into our diet into small digestible or components that we can absorb or assimilate within the body. Then we have amylas or amylase. So this helps to break down the starch into sugar which our body can use. So this is under the exocrine function. Then number two we have endocrine function. So under this one the pancreas releases two hormones. These hormones are critical in regulating the glucose level in our body which is also known as the blood sugar level so the two hormones release are insulin or insulin so insulin is secreted to lower blood glucose when the levels get too high then we have the glucagon glucagon so which is secreted to increase the blood glucose when the levels get two laws. So these are the two key functions. So now in answering, in answering you would answer something like this. So this is the background I was giving you so to understand. So you said the pancreas so the pancreas uh, releases digestive enzymes. This is the first one. So releases the digestive enzymes through pancreatic juice which is in adds in so now because of space we need to include the, the pancreatic juice which adds so in here we are going to have releases pancreatic juice which adds in the digestion of food so these enzymes are the one that I've explained then number two it also helps the same pancreatic ju juice helps in regulating them blood sugar levels by producing two enzymes which is insulin or insulin and gruga grugagon then here the, the three enzymes are the one that I've listed here we have lipas we have um, protease and the amylase so if you do that we are good to go then question C state two functions of the part labeled the S in the digestion so S is the liver so what is the function of the liver in our body so again it's something that we talked about so you just need to be as clear as possible once you are clear as possible then everything becomes easier so there are a lot of functions of the liver but we need to focus on the key like i said earlier the liver has got him over 500 key laws that it performs or vital functions it performs in the body so what are the two key functions so among the key functions that we can put is de detoxification so this is the cleaning of amph substances so it that's why it's not good to be taking too much alcohol because it destroys the liver then the liver will not be able to perform its functioning properly then 
production number two production of bile for digestion which is key for digestion then regression of blood sugar levels production of certain proteins for blood plasma then you can also regulating of blood clotting also it helps in resisting infection by making immune factors and removing bacteria from the blood stream it also a source or it also works as a storage of vitamins and minerals it also process glucose for energy storage and the, the use so these are the key function that you can pick from so if you're able to to do that you'll be smiling at the end of the day so i've just given you some main function you can be able to choose in among those question d describe two effects of the common elements of the part labeled s to the human body so the part labeled s we just said is in the liver so what are the common elements of the liver or the signs that the liver is not performing properly so remember just from talking about him among the key functions of the liver among the key ones are uh, production of bowel or bowel formation which is critical for digestion so once the liver is not in the good condition you're going to experience him poor um, bowel formation or production so poor bowel production remember in order for the body to digest food properly bowel is very critical number two you are going to have the case of um, imbalanced imbalanced sugar level so imbalanced in the sense that sugar level you are going to have either high or low blood sugar level which is not good you need to have in between not to have high blood sugar level or low blood sugar level so if you have any of this then it means the liver is not performing or not functioning properly these are the signs then you can also have high amount of wastes or toxed so i amount of toxins in the blood remember we talked about one of the key function of the liver is detoxification of the harmful substance so the liver neutralizes all the toxin or the harmful substance that may be found in the blood or in the food so that's why it's important that you take as much water as possible and eat health as possible when you do that you help the liver perform its function effectively so it's very important that you avoid eating food that may compromise your liver among the key also signs that you may need, need to know you have or uh, the yellowish of the skin and the ears then the swelling of the abdomen and the legs also changes in the color of the urine or stool and also easy bruising these are key signs that the liver is not performing well so this is how you answer this question to get the nine marks thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in another episode as we look at question four in detail